Abundance is an energy. It's a spirit. It's an energy that we can experience through different channels. So it is not a person that is the source of abundance for us, but they are a channel through which we experience abundance. Hello. So I wanted to talk about this because this actually has come up more than once where so many of you are challenged by the idea of receiving abundance through your partner and really owning that you are playing a role in your partner's evolution. So this typically shows up as your significant other. I also want to say that this can be your business partner. It could be maybe an agency that you're working with. It could be your children. It could be your friends and so on and so forth. I want you to realize is that abundance is an energy. It's a spirit. It's an energy and that we can experience it through different channels. So it is not a person that is the source of abundance for us, but they are a channel through which we experience abundance. So whether that is your clients, whether that is your friends, your network, each of these beings is one channel that you can experience abundance through. Also, this does not just people, you can experience literally through anything. You can experience the spirit of abundance. I want to keep this as it relates to people though, as much as possible, because then we're getting into some much more complex stuff. Number one, I want you to, as you reflect on that, I want you to just allow yourself to explore on any given day, what are all of the channels that you are experiencing abundance through right now? What are all the different channels that abundance is coming through to you right now? Step two or part two is an opportunity for us to explore and really reclaim the value of that, which is the yin aspect or the feminine aspect. So let's just speak about it as it relates to yin. And that is because both masculine beings and feminine beings have yin within them. I want you to imagine that each of us contains within it a seed. That seed contains within it the energetic blueprint for the limitless potential that can be expressed in this life. So now I want you to imagine that you take that seed and you just place it on a table and you watch 30 days later. <laughs> insert SpongeBob scene. <laughs> Nothing happens, right? Because without the proper environment, without the proper nurturing, this potential cannot be expressed. Without the, the yin, the potential cannot be expressed. I want you to imagine you take that seed and you place it into some amazing soil full of nutrients. And I want you to pretend that this soil is the home. It's the space for the seed and it is full of all the right ingredients. Even still, that seed will not yet grow because it also needs water. I want you to imagine that the water is like the emotional support water connected with emotions. I want you to imagine that this water is full of love and is pure without attachment or intention of what needs to happen. It just gives unconditionally. Now I want you to also keep in mind that even with the right soil, even with the great water, there is still something else missing and that is sunlight. Let's pretend that the sunlight is a passionate 
presence. Just like the sun, it's just present. <laughs> it's just present and radiating. Now that seed has the components that it needs to express its full potential. That is the power of the right environment and nurturing for that seed. So now I want you to imagine that you placed this seed in soil that is starved of nutrients and you water it with polluted water and you keep it away from the sun. Now that seed's gonna grow, but it's probably either gonna grow up weak. It's gonna grow in a way that's not as useful. It may grow up misshapen or it may just not grow at all because it didn't have the right environment. This is an example of the influence of you choosing mastery of your own energy and how that is influencing others around you. So now let's say that your partner goes and creates $2 million more and you feel like well, there's not a direct correlation because I didn't directly participate in that. This is where you have to understand the power of who you are being and how that impacts others. When you focus on who you are being, everyone around you is presented with an opportunity to step into more of their potential. It is the greatest gift that you can give to your loved ones and to humanity as a whole. It is that impactful. And the degree to which you have mastered your own energy, the degree to which you have integrated the aspects that you've suppressed and you become, that is how much more significance that you have in the lives of those around you. It's part of why I don't use a ton of tools because through my process, I became the tool. It's when you become like a human transformer and it's not because of what you're doing. Now it becomes about who you're being that is having the greatest impact. I wanna leave you with a brief mythology. And I just wanna give you a caveat that I do not have a background in this spiritual system, nor do I know the story fully, but I'm gonna just share the gist of it. And it is a Yoruba mythology around the goddess Oshun. In one story, the gods began to devalue the influence or the importance of Oshun, who is a goddess associated with the sweet waters, the rivers, beauty, joy. And because of this, she decided instead of fighting them to get them to see how valuable her offerings were, she withdrew it. She withdrew her energy from them and the rivers dried, creating starvation misery. She withdrew the beauty and the joy. And so war broke out. Now you could take this literally, but also this story actually repeats in lots of different ancient systems. And it is exactly what we see has happened in the world over the past approximately 2000 years. It is when we do not value this, that life almost becomes not even worth living because half of it the, the actual half that produces the other half. All of us came through the portal of a mother. When we devalue that, we curse ourselves. If we want to create a magnificent existence for all of us, it really does start with each of us deciding to embrace and begin valuing the other aspect <laughs> of us and integrating it into our lives, being grateful for it, being grateful for the environments that we're in, taking great care to, to curate and, and cultivate and refine the spaces that we're in, to not necessarily, we don't have to devalue the strategy, the logic, the analysis, the structure. We don't need to devalue that, but we also need to value this. It's a both and, integrate it together is what allows us to feel euphoria and depth and significance and freedom. Be sure to share with us what you took away 
from this and how you are going to integrate this, taking aligned action in your life so that you can begin to um, uncover and unleash more of yourself.